All right, everybody, welcome back here to Versus Live, powered by StarCityGames.com and sponsored by Carnox Chairs. We just got done playing Legacy here, had a nice little interesting match that was pretty deep in uh, a lot of ways. Like, there were a lot of decisions to be made. Seems like Legacy in a nutshell, but overall, uh, three pretty good games. Uh, we're going to be moving on to Modern now, where we have uh, Ross's by far favorite deck, is it Phoenix, I imagine, versus uh, Humans here. Um, I don't know how great Humans is in a spot in the metagame, but this matchup in particular is pretty good and pretty interactive right now, so I think this should be uh, some pretty good games. What do you think about it? Yeah, the, the matchup is pretty close and very dependent on how the Is It Phoenix list looks. You mm -hmm. know, the, the decks have waffled between main deck gutshot and main deck surgical extraction yeah, for a while. Yep. I tend to be a favor of the main deck gutshot side of things unless there's a real strong reason to main deck surgical like we just saw recently with Bridgemine. So yep. the list I'm playing today has two gutshots in the main. That is really helpful because Thalia, Guardian, and Thraben is one of the most important cards out yep. of the human side. Uh, so once I have a couple gutshots, I feel pretty good. My sideboard is pretty well situated for the matchup as well um you know the, there's uh there's also thing in the ice so it also depends on how many deputy of detentions are uh in the humans list so they have extra yep. answers to thing uh i'm not sure how many you're playing right now yeah i, I know there's at least two in the board yeah uh, a lot of lists yeah. have them in the sideboard not as many in the main deck so yep. uh you know the the big things are you sticking thalia and being able to grow a board early and then stopping my thing in the ice because yeah. usually i can't really uh interact that well in combat unless you're on a mantis rider heavy hand and i have phoenixes uh, so I'm really dependent on transforming a thing at least at one point, unless I just kill everything, which is unlikely. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, stopping Thing in the Ice is big on your side, and then me just sort of staving off and getting time so that I can redeploy Thing in the Ice after Reflector Mage and eventually get it off. Yeah, that's the only thing I've played, because I've played a lot of Is It Phoenix as well, and I've played this matchup plenty of times last season. And that was kind of the thing. I got into a decent amount of awkward scenarios with Reflector Mage, where it's just, you know, waiting two turns to cast it when I want to be playing spells constantly. It becomes a little rough, but you also can just play defensively with Arclight Phoenixes and trade away resources and keep bringing that back every turn. So I think I would say you may be a little favored here, especially with the gut shot over the surgical, but it's going to be a good match. So yeah. let's, uh, shall we get into it? Let's do it. All right. I lost match one, so I will be on the play. That is also very helpful. Definitely. And being able to land my thing in the ice before you play a Thalia. Thing in the garbage, as I always te called it in testing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and this is going to be a keeper. Yeah, this is a keep too. It's a little slow here. I, I tend to not like to keep hands like this, um, but I think this one is just good enough to uh, give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to shock myself with the steam vents. Okay. Pass the turn. 18. All right. We're going to go humans and pass the turn. Interesting. No one drop. Yeah, the no one drop thing is definitely something I usually like to stay away from, but the rest of our hand is quite powerful, so I think it is worth okay. it. I'll play a thing in the ice and pass. All right. All right, so I'm going to take one and uh, try Thalia. Try to slow down Brings that thing a little bit. Your turn. And... How do I want to play this? So... Definitely afraid of gut shot. Even lightning bolt is uh, quite strong. Uh, I'm going to play a mountain and just get a second thing down to help against a reflector mage. Okay. Pass the turn. All right. Not the draw we wanted here. But I think we should still be okay. You know what? Let's try to get this going. We're going to play uh, Noble Hierarch. Sure. All right. And uh, no real point in attacking here, so we'll ship it back. Really wanted a third land here. Oh. Uh, it's not a bad one, but this turn is definitely going to start with Bolt on the Thalia, trigger yep. my things. Then we can play Faithless Looting, trigger things. Okay. Draw two. Hopefully this would mean that uh, these things aren't transforming Oof. this turn, but it easily could be. And discard Fiery Islet and Arclight Phoenix. Okay. And then crack fetch to 17. Okay. And play, get a basic island and play Serum Visions. You got the gut shot? 
We'll see. <laughs> got to draw stuff. <laughs> if I had it in my hand, I definitely would have cast it first. To sure, just okay. Deal with the noble. Exactly. So. Otherwise, the noble would be returned to my hand with the triggers on the stack. Yep. So we got seventeen and nineteen. Um, Phoenix is definitely coming back. Yep. And we'll be able to set up for next turn. So you're good there. And I think this one is unnecessary, but I like this one. So right. let's keep that one there. Did not draw a gut shot. So Hooray! let's just return the Phoenix and get in for three. All right, 16. Not under any pressure, so we can afford to attack pretty easily. Done? Yep. And I feel pretty good here. A Reflector Mage is going to be... I guess there was one in the main. <laughs> Just casually lying to me. That's Just fine. Casually, yep. <laughs> uh, so you're 15? Yep, 15. Your turn. It's definitely a great exchange here. It's going to buy me a ton of time, but it's not insane or anything. Our hand is stocked, but we're just not going to have time to deploy everything. Um, let's... Hmm. To leave it back or not, huh? <laughs> I will. We're definitely attacking. It's just a question of how else we want to play this. And I think I'm just going to make sure I get to resolve this finale since it's so powerful. Yep. Uh, we're going to target Lightning Bolt and Serum Visions. Okay. So let's Lightning Bolt the Deputy and okay. cast Serum Visions. They're both cast. Uh, it's not like cast one at a time. They're both put on the stack, yep. so we're not going to trigger these things at all. Uh, but we will resolve the Visions. And... Finale is such a good addition to that deck. Yeah, these seem like... Good card. So let's top top on that and attack for three. All right. You I'll go to take 12. Three down to 12. Pass the turn. All right. We would love a land. Got what we needed. We're still going to be in a lot of trouble here. Um, now the question is do we want to start answering Thing in the Ices or attempting to? Um, and I think that's just what we have to do. Otherwise, they are just going to kill us very quickly. Getting aggressive right now is not really our role. So I'm going to take a damage and Reflector Mage. That's going to bring you to 11. 11, yep. And then we'll get a Vile, and then I'll pass it to you. And I know my top cards, and I like them, so... Thinking Thought Erasure, I imagine, uh, and whether or not to get rid of them makes sense to not cast it. So... Play a Serum Visions trigger thing. Okay. Um, don't think I want either of those, so mm -hmm. let's bin them. Okay. Thought Scour myself, trigger thing. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, God. So That's lucky. A nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> yes, please. Um, the free value of Phoenix is just outrageous. Is this what you would play if you were playing Barcelona? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So now we have to do the sinkhole. Okay. Uh, let's remove the creature, the finale, the two lands. And... You said you wanted to remove the creature. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, definitely leaving the two red cards. The question is between those two, and I will remove the instant. Okay. Uh, you got another spell, then I'm just dead. Uh, you're at 11, right? Yeah, you got... This is going to get bounced when I... Oh, open. true, true, true. But we want to deal with the Reflector Mage before bouncing it, so okay. uh, we'll force another one. And then um, let's opt, because then if we find looting, we'll be all set. Uh, on the game. Bottomless land. 
Probably a small thing, but you probably want a Vista there. Oh, maybe not. No, I know no. the bottom cards. Okay, that's fair. And this comes back and attack for 10. Down to one. Nice Horizon turn. Canopy is now shut off, so that's going to be uh, yeah. quite impossible here. And yep, nothing I can do. <laughs> I think there was a big turn. First of all, no one drop is is very questionable. My hand was Deputy, Thalia, a couple Reflector Mages. So if I did hit that third land, I was going to be in business. And it was good against some of your draws, but it wasn't good against all of them. Yeah. Um, and then not hitting the third land where I just had to go Noble on turn three. It's just, it's it's too bad. Yeah, you just yeah. fall too far behind. Exactly. It, important to note on that turn, I could have cracked the Vista and played a Mana Morphos and dug one deeper to a Looting. Yep. But I thought it was better to hold on to that in case you had a, another Reflector Mage to bounce the Phoenix. Yeah. And then I have two Phoenixes stuck in my hand and a Looting here. And next turn, I can just go Mana Morphos, Flashback, Looting, find any spell. Sure, and sure. And be all set. Yep. No, that makes sense. And you were in putting me to one or putting me to, or yeah. going for the play of putting me to zero is effectively the same. I was not coming back from yeah. one, so... All right, so that was an easy game one victory by Ross. We got time for another game one, hmm. I'm guessing, or should we go straight uh, to board? We should, get, we should get some sideboarding because we okay. already fell behind from Legacy taking a while. Oh, that's fair. Okay. So All right. Got to make up that time. Perfect. So we are going to uh, get sideboarding ready for you, and we will be uh, right back here at Versus Live. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Versus Live, sponsored by Carnax Chairs here. We are moving to the sideboard here for our uh, modern matchup. We are doing the best of three matchup for anybody just joining us. We are playing Legacy Modern and Standard, the formats of SCG Philadelphia this weekend. Um, we'll start with my sideboarding. I am choosing to take out uh, Image, Freebooters, and Meddling Mages. I really, really hate the thought of getting uh, my Image gut-shotted for like the low, low value of uh, one free magic card from you. So I'm taking those out. Free booters, you have so many spells that are kind of the same, that taking one lightning bolt when you, I leave you with a magnetic sinkhole or an abrade, it just feels bad. I'm not pressuring you enough with the one-two body. And then one meddling mage. I think meddling mage is just the next worst card here, um, because once again, you have so many yeah. threats that do somewhat the same thing. Um, bringing in a lot of ways to deal with thing in the ice here, in the form of dismember and deputy. Deputy also a kind of well-rounded, uh, answer to you know aria flames blood moon any kind of random shenanigans that you're going to be leaving in from the phoenix side if i have an early like double phoenix draw and try to get aggressive it's good at, at stymieing that as well exactly i mean still you lose uh the deputy to a bolt and they still come yeah. back so phoenix is just kind of a problem that i have to deal with that's why i bring in the one cage that to kind of answer for it but otherwise just the phoenix draws are kind of what humans struggle with got one anafenza to uh uh just be a big body really just be a giant four four as well as definitely has text that's relevant against you and then a couple of sin collectors to stop you from sinning over on your side so <laughs> yeah. what do you got what do you got for me uh so i'm definitely assuming more of a controlling role in this matchup and that means bringing in a lot more removal uh i know a, a lot of lists do not have an engine or explosives on the sideboard i've been a big fan of this card for a while it's just so good against thalia so good against humans mm -hmm. and, and i've been so unimpressed with anger of the gods in the matchup I and mean, it's still fine you bring the one in yeah. uh but i think that this is a matchup where you get a lot of value out of your sideboard cards because it is very close mm -hmm. and so it's easy to sway the matchup one way or another by adding an extra card or two yep. uh, so I've generally prioritized being prepared for the humans matchup and so over a second anger that a lot of lists have I'll play an engineered explosives um, we do have the the one of braid really nice thing to deal with uh, Aether Vile or a creature uh, sometimes dealing with Vile is really important for setting up your thing in the ice because that's a card that lets them recover redeploy their threats really quickly it can also handle the sideboard cage yep. and then I've got some blood moons it's not great on the draw in this matchup sometimes I don't bring it in, but I had enough cards I want to bring out. I don't like Aria in the matchup. Usually, if you're cantering through your deck, effectively, you're going to win anyway. Uh, so Aria is only going to be a liability in the games where humans is ahead. They also have Deputy to reset it, which is problematic. Okay. Finale of Promise is a card that, once again, is good when you're, you're keeping their board relatively clear. They only have a couple things, and you finish them off with the Finale, but... Uh, you know, if they have their Thalia down, if they have Meddling Mage on a key card in your graveyard because that, you know, they can see that, then they can really stymie the ability of Finale to to be effective and you want to cut your more expensive cards. So I'm cutting my, you know, three and four mana cards here and I'm returning a couple cantrips, something I like doing against Thalia. In particular, I've chosen to trim Opt. I think Thought Scour is really important to have when we have two Magmatic Sinkholes in the deck. And I think Sorcery Cantrips are important to have. Um... Uh, I guess they, they generally are important to have with Finale. So I actually, 
I should no, I should cut slights because I'm cutting finale. Okay. I, I initially thought of finale, and then I cut the finale. That's fair. And then didn't didn't reevaluate. So my question for you, uh, being our resident, is it Phoenix Esper with Phoenix kind of on the down slope for Mythic Championship Barcelona? Would you still recommend the same kind of amount of hate uh, for the Phoenix matchups in the form of anger and EE and stuff? Um, when this matchup's on the decline, or do, would you kind of side more towards, like, what I would think is maybe more towards, like, Anger the Gods for maybe some of these uh, Hogak decks that are still around, as well as maybe other decks that are trying to go wide against you? What do yeah, you uh, what do you think about that? You know, all, these three red cards all have a lot of uh, facility in other matchups. Magmatic Sinkle comes in against Jun the decks. It comes in against Death Shadow. It even comes in against Azorius Control because it can okay. target Planeswalkers. You know, Anger. Oh, well. uh, yeah. Yeah. So it deals with Narset, it deals with Lyra, it deals with Celestial Colony, it deals with Teferi. Okay. Like, literally hits everything, so That's it's huge. great in those matchups. Uh, Anger of the Gods, as you said, is good against those graveyard decks, blood gas decks, and then a Braid comes in against all kinds of Chalice decks and things like that. Okay. Um, yeah, Braid so, is something I've always been impressed with from that side. Like, yeah. I, I, I've had up to two to three copies in it yeah. at some point. Uh, yeah, I've, I've gone up to three before as well, and frequently okay. have two. So if you're really unafraid of humans, I think you would make this Engineered Explosives a second Anger, Okay. Uh, which is still reasonable against humans, but better against those Hogak decks and Dredge decks uh, that are usually pretty popular and not a great matchup for you. Yeah. Uh, so that that's the one change I would make. But the other ones okay. are so versatile in other matchups that you know, gotcha. they, they, they earn their spot even without humans being a huge part of the metagame. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Is it Phoenix? Of course, it's just going to be an insanely popular and powerful choice for Mythic Championship Barcelona coming up. It's 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 hard to say that deck will be bad. Like it yeah. sure might have some bad matchups. And I think last uh, last Pro Tour with Phoenix, the win percentage was sub 50 percent because Tron was just running rampant. But we're kind of seeing a lot less of Tron. Um, so far, anyways, at least on like the most played decks now, the Mythic Championships is, may tell a different story. Who really knows? But uh, still seems like a pretty solid choice. Yeah, it's just never going to be bad. Bad, exactly. Yeah, it has, <laughs> it's such a high floor relative to most modern decks that usually you, know, you think of modern, you think of boom or bust, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. And Is It Phoenix has a pretty high ceiling still. Yeah. Not as high as some other decks, but reasonably high. But yeah. it, its calling card has always been it's so consistent. I just can't imagine the SCG that you won when people just didn't know what that deck <laughs> was yet. That just seems like a dream. I bet you just had an easy one there. It was uh, it was pretty nice. I had to play yeah. some weird matchups in that tournament. I had to beat a, a Martyr proc deck. I had to Surgical Extraction, my own spells to pump Crackling Drake for exactly lethal. Nice, We did nice. some cool stuff. But yeah, back then, every, I was playing three main deck gut shots, and everyone's playing like spirits and infected humans. Oh, yeah. I just gut shot at people into the Stone Age. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. Nice. Well, I mean, honestly, that's where the decline of humans went was because of Phoenix Yeah. and the amount of gut shots. Like, whenever it got up to like three gut shots, and is it Phoenix was the most played deck, you were a fool to play humans. You know, yeah. and that's when Tron got its big resurgence. But now that all these other really fast linear combo decks are coming out, we see Tron going down and maybe Phoenix is, you know, well, Phoenix um, has had to you know scavenge those gut shot spots to make room for more like surgicals and other things yeah. and spots. And that made the humans matchup significantly better from that side. Yeah. And then you got deputy as an additional answer, a thing in the ice. So yeah. a couple variables changed to bring that matchup back to being close. Yeah. Uh, and then so and then we ended up, you know about where we are now. And it, and it sucks with having to have Surgical in there when you play against just like an aggressive deck and it's just dead. Like, it, it feels bad drawing them. I mean, you can yeah. loot away stuff, but it's just not the same. I, I agree. Every time I've yep. had Surgical in my deck, I've felt bad. And every time I've got shot in my deck, I win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from the master himself. Okay, so I'm going to be going first because I lost game one here. And I'm going to keep. It's a, it's a little iffy, but uh, good enough. I've got a solid one, so I'll keep it. All right, humans. Got a one drop this time. Your turn. Okay. Uh, well, I am going to flame slash that noble. All right, it's dead. The turn. All right. So we're gonna go with uh, a coast and just a sad lieutenant. Your turn. <laughs> I was really hoping not to see a Thalia there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I used my removal spell on the one drop. What are you talking about? I just played a Thalia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I use my removal spell on the noble. You, you often just fall too far behind against that. Um, yeah. The, those starts, you really want to kill the noble against this deck. Yeah, but I was correct. Left myself a little weak to an actual Thalia, uh, but we can fetch. Go to nineteen. Get ourselves an island. Okay. Now, thing in the garbage. Do not have a thing in the ice, but we we have a turn where we're hoping to get a little bit lucky. Okay. Okay. So. But you have the marbles right now, so clearly luck has been on your side these last few weeks. Yeah. 
I'm going to play mm-hmm. Mana Morphos. Okay. I'm going to make Blue Blue. Blue Blue. I am going to cast a Thought Scour Blue Floating. Okay. Don't no you, Phoenixes on that one. Don't you do it to me. Let's try it again. Don't you do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Miss? Oh, all no right, Phoenixes. all right. <laughs> okay, you're up. Happy day. Oops. Oops. Trying to draw three cards there. Okay, so that's an interesting draw here. Now, if we want to take a peek at our hand, we got some interesting decisions here. So it's definitely going to be one of these two. Um, I mean, this card is great. You know, this card is absolutely great against Ross and probably stems a lot of uh, bleeding. This card is just very powerful as well. Oh, this is tough. I think I just want to err on the side of getting this into play first. Uh, It's a card that uh, Ross was afraid of, so why not drop it now, right? It's a pretty good one. All right, so we're going to put a counter here. We're going to name humans again and get in there for two. Brings me to 17. All right, your turn. Really tough play, though. Chad, I'd like to uh, I'd like to know what you thought about that and uh, and ask after the game if uh, uh, your opinion on if I should have played this instead. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Mountain and... Play thing in the ice. Thing in the ice. That you got not it. More expensive. <laughs> and with only one mana open, gut shot is the only available thing. Um, definitely would wait until um, until my turn if you did have it. So it's reasonable either way. Now we got another set of good options here. Um, I think we are going to start with a horizon canopy and. Go with a, uh, mm. yeah, we're going to go with a Reflector Mage targeting this. That's a pretty good one. Pretty solid. All right, we're going to get in there for five. That'll bring me to 12. Your turn. On your end step, I am going to play a Magmatic Sinkhole on the Reflector Mage. So I, if I delve six, that will pay for the Thalia tax. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Uh, you said to the Reflector Mage? Yep. Okay. Um, I don't have any ways to flashback spells anymore, so I, I guess it doesn't really matter what I remove. Okay. So we'll delve six, and then... That has to mean that there's no Anger God in, in sight, because that's what would uh, scare me the uh, most. Shock myself to ten. Probably a Crackle Drizzig. We'll make blue-red and cast an Engineered Explosives for one. It costs one more from the Thalia. So it ends up with two sunburst counters, and that will handle both of uh, Corey's creatures. That's how that works? Yeah. Because sunburst is it for each color you use to pay for it. It costs oh, one more. Okay. So you set X equals one. Then it costs two. You pay, you pay blue red. It's pretty good. Yeah. That's the, pretty the strong The engine explosives right now. Thalia interaction is nice. It's pretty weird. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't love that. Don't love that at all. Um, I guess we will sat canopy. Yep. All right. And then we'll get in there. At 10 life, I can't afford to take this attack. Okay. We'll free up a... Now we're going to drop an Anaphans on you. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, Yeah, EE was a brutal beating to us. Let's get our thing back down. Okay. Now I'll play an Opt. Okay. Trigger thing. And that's an interesting one. I think I want this just because it sets me up with more outs. So I'm not sure on that, but I think I want it. And then we'll see our envisions. This is why we opted main phase. So okay. We can set up this visions for next turn. And um, I will. Definitely bottoming this land. We don't need that. You have two cards in hand? I have two cards, yep. Yeah, I'm going to top this one and then bottom the other. Pass the turn. All right, on top. Not a great draw here. We're going to start by taking four, dismembering. That's pretty good. 16. 16. That is exiled, good sir. Oh, yeah, from the Anafensa. All right, and then we're going to get in there for four. I go to six. All right. So now we are going to play a meddling mage, but what to name, what to name. Let's see. 
Crackling Drake, I don't, I would not like to see, but there's probably not a high number in there. Magnetic, Magnetic Sinkhole, only one more. Could do Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt doesn't deal with Anafenza, but maybe that is okay. I really just want to protect Anafenza here. I don't know the best avenue to do so. If you want to protect Anafenza, my Slash is here, and I have a second Sinkhole. And, I mean, if I didn't know you had Finale, I guess you can't really Finale back a Sinkhole. That doesn't work too well. Yeah, it's a tough one. Tough tough order. I think we're just going to go Crackling Drake here. I'm not too afraid of Lightning Bolt, because Lightning Bolt would just deal Meddling Mage. I don't want a creature to block, so okay. your turn. Uh, I will... Pass the turn. All right. Maybe uh, our play worked. Maybe not. All right, we're going to declare attacks. Yep. Counter. Uh, with that trigger on the stack, I will bolt the meddling mage. Okay. Then before damage, I will bolt Anafenza. Okay. And then I will gut shot Anafenza, paying rent. All right. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll okay. do it. We, um, we each have four lands and two cards. <laughs> your turn. Ooh, one of yours is a lay, and that's yeah. good. <laughs> One of mine is a faithless looting. That's not good. Let's hopefully find some phoenixes here. <laughs> no, we found some lands. Uh, <laughs> All right. Siskar, Tarn, Spire Bluff. Okay. And... But you have the most busted play. You get to do it again if need be. I can do that, or I can cast the other one in my hand. That's... So if I name Lightning Bolt, are you just straight dead? Uh, With Meddling he... Mage? Yeah, probably. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I, what, that, that was exactly what I didn't want to see was dismember, like kill my my thing, and then Metal Egg Mage Bolt. Was yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah. I kept second bolt on top because I had bolt gut shot. The gut shot's what I kept off the opt, but I figured, oh, this lets me find bolt to deal with this. Sure. And I have pl so many bolts left in my deck. Yeah, um, I just, I wasn't afraid of one bolt uh, yeah. because the bolt would just hit Meddling Mage, but maybe... And the chances of you adding a bolt was so high that I probably should have named that anyways, but Crackling Drake was, would, would have been pretty bad for me. Yeah. So if I flash back this looting, it's I can still get back a Phoenix if I hit one because I have Mountain looting in hand. So I think I'm just going to play this. Yeah, good call. Just this flashback. And, yeah, let's discard the <laughs> Anger along with it. I guess this is kind of bad because I'm just milling over two cards. Yeah. Um, I would probably discard Mountain and... Uh, Phoenix personally, and then just wait yeah, to do stuff wait. next turn. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I like that play. Let's just do that and pass. All right, all right. Meddling Mage. Sure. <laughs> I think we're gonna name Faithless Looting now. Okay. <laughs> well, um, that's an interesting draw. Yeah, I'd probably name Anger if uh, I didn't know your hand, but that feels that feels wrong. But since yeah. you have a, um, huh. I guess I will play this thing in the ice. Okay. And pass the turn. All right. I'm going to sacrifice this. <laughs> yep. Ooh. I'm going to reflector mage that. And get on in for two. Brings me to four. Your turn. This anger is going to be quite good. Yeah. Let's anger. Okay. Those are exiled. Exiled. And pass the turn. Let's get a mantis rider. Ooh. Ooh. Go. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Uh, I will play a thing in the ice and pass. Yep. Ooh, go. Yeah, too many lands <laughs> now on your side. I think, yeah. think that is a battle. That's probably the nail. Let's thought scar myself, trigger thing. All right. Looting and events. That's going to be good. Let's uh, play a looting trigger thing. Okay. And... Yeah, we'll discard a couple lands. Okay. Play a Manamorphose trigger thing. I'll make blue blue. Okay. And a Serum Visions trigger thing, blue floating. Yep. Yeah, I don't think I have a possible draw I can get here. And you're at... 16. So let's put that on the top, that on the bottom. Uh, play a Scalding Tarn... And get back the Phoenix in my yard and attack for 10. We don't have to worry about a Mantis Rider. Nope. Well, maybe. You Not go to well. six. Yep. Pass the turn. <laughs> I want to get him to six because I've left a Phoenix on top. So, Mantis Rider. Yeah. <laughs> Did you save the attack for six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got a way to deal with this, I'm guessing. 
Uh, uh, yeah, I have a bolt. Okay. You yeah, got or, it. or another Phoenix on top of my deck. That's game. A beating. Yeah, you know, I mean, meddling, maging, lightning bolt, it's usually almost always the thing you do. Um, I deviated from it, and it cost me the game. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but you were in a spot where like lightning bolt by itself was not that threatening. Yeah, it was. It was two of them with a gut shot, essentially yeah. three that I did not expect. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. If hindsight, maybe you just always name lightning bolt because it deals with it so easily and so effectively that if you shut down that, then uh, you know you may have struggled. Yeah, we got a little bit of time if you want to play third. Let's play a third. You maybe get yourself on the board. Here I need to. I need to. But. I mean, I gotta at least, you know, not let you get a 3 0 sweep on me with, uh, is it Phoenix? <laughs> you know, I, I've been playing this matchup for a, a long while. time. And I've been playing this matchup a lot from that side. Yeah. <laughs> I did not play a lot of humans, but is it Phoenix Mirror probably wouldn't have been the, the most fun to watch. No. <laughs> it would have been fun to play. Selfishly, I would have did that for sure, but <laughs> I'm just looking out for the people. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go first. We got any questions while Ross is shuffling? Yeah, we all know how much I like to shuffle, so. Yeah. <laughs> True. Give me some uh, time. Shuffle Merriam is, uh, was, was called on coverage <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> uh, Ross, why do you still play Crackling Drake when you have Araya of Flame in the deck? So uh, I, I had three Arias for a while. I was just uh, not very happy with drawing them in multiples mm -hmm. uh, because the drawbacks can sort of compound on each other. Um, and usually when the first one lives, like they just die. Uh, so I was looking to replace the third one with a different threat, and Crackling Drake has actually gotten a lot better uh, post Hogak ban or the Bridgevine ban, and uh, because uh, Jund has started coming back around, Azorius control is pretty big, uh, and in both of those matchups, the, there is a lot of attrition going on, and so Crackling Drake, is, the games go long. You know, getting that free two for one is really good, and then against some of the you know more aggressive decks, Crackling Drake is a really big body, uh, mm -hmm. can stabilize the ground. Uh, so the Singleton Crackling Drake, I think, is pretty well positioned at this point, and I didn't like the third aria, yeah. so I have two and two one split there. I like the split as well. I think uh, I think there is some thought to trying to go like two Pyromancers Ascension, two Aria Flame, and just really try to lean in on the spell aspect of it. But uh, if you're not going to deviate like that, I think you want to diversify your threats a little bit, especially if they hit your graveyard. You, you still have something that you can play that can just kill them out, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go first. Oh, I can keep. Uh, a little help here, but not bad. Yeah, I think I can keep this too. All right, champion, your turn. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna fetch and go to 17 for a steam vents. Okay. I'm actually gonna start on faithless looting. Okay. Yep. Anybody who starts on faithless looting has some phoenixes in their hand. Because <laughs> almost always, you never want to start on faithless looting just because it is card disadvantage. It's not card advantage, but it is card advantage when you have phoenix because you have cards you already want to be in the graveyard. Um, so I, I like Faithless Looting on one as well, if that's the case. But otherwise, if you have a blue cantrip and you don't have a phoenix in your hand, it's almost always incorrect. Yep. And indeed, you will see me discard Arclight Phoenix. I'm also going to discard a Blood Moon. I think I'm going to fall a little far, too far behind for that card to be relevant. All right. So we'll play your favorite card. It is one of my favorite cards of all time. <laughs> Attack. I will go to 15. Your turn. It's also incredibly good here because I also cast Looting to dig for a land and did not hit it yet. <laughs> oh, no. And didn't hit it there. Whoa. So. Let's hurry up and get a fourth game in so I can uh, uh, I can up. go into the third round with a 101 record. <laughs> All right, we're going to name the humani Humanitarian. And what do I want here? I think this one's going to be over in a hurry. Yep. We'll boogle. All right, this is the top four, right? Yep. All right. Toot toot. <laughs> toot toot. And then bottom. Yep. Let's go in your hand. Five, yeah. I'm a 10. Go. Need to hit the land here. It's 100 percent over. It's already pretty close to that at yeah. this point. And we did not. We did third thoughts. Cover. All right. <laughs> Do we got time for another? Please. No, no, we're put. We're pushing the top of the hour. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. You didn't even look at your watch. Huh? I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Five up. This is this yep. is how this man keeps his marbles. He protects them at all costs. <laughs> I, I know how the time works. We got any questions over there? We can take before mm -hmm. cutting to a break. Uh, where do you guys like to eat after a salty loss at a tournament? Uh, <laughs> Something <laughs> greasy. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm the same way. Before I uh, 
before I went vegetarian, my big, like, you know, I had a bad tournament or took a really tough loss. A meal was always a greasy burger. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of, of the Beyond and the Impossible Burger. So if we can find those, I'll go Ooh. for those and get my plant-based burger in. Um, but... Yeah, now I have to get a little bit more inventive. Yeah. So uh, it, there usually are French fries involved to get the grease in. Okay. So, For me, so. I'm incredibly basic. If I have a bad tournament, all I want to do is go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I want to get a tall Miller Lite, a fine Pilsner. I want to eat a bunch of wings. And then if I ever, like, succeed and win a tournament, I really like to mix it up by going to Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> and getting a tall Miller Lite <laughs> and getting some wings. <laughs> a creature of habit over here. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Here's the real question. Do you get ranch or blue cheese with your wings? Ranch. Ranch. I'm a ranch fan. I like blue cheese crumbles on my salad, but I hate blue cheese itself. Is that weird? Mm, no, it's actually pretty common, but I'm a blue cheese fan, so. Okay. Okay. We can't be friends. With, with blue cheese with cauliflower wings. So, ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. That'll uh, wrap up round two here with our uh, Legacy Modern st Standard Challenge. We are 1 1. I bested you in Legacy, yeah. and you absolutely destroyed me in Modern here. So, we'll be back for our third and final round where we play a little bit of Standard. I am playing a Bant Ramp deck against your Bant. Baby. Mono blue aggro. Mono blue aggro. So this is your format. You play a lot of standard. That's so it's true. It's a nice one to have with your first on the marbles match. Marbles on the line. You got to play some standard. We're going to yeah. get that queued up for you. Take a 10 minute break here and be right back. So don't go anywhere. See you soon.